weekend, everybody. We are back to AM2R. My name is Mike, and I'm joined with my co-host, Corey. How you doing, Corey? I'm doing pretty good, Mike. Here to play some more AM2R, Nintendo's most hated Metroid <laughs> game. Yeah, the game. That Honestly, Nintendo's mo most hated franchise. It seems yeah. like they really never want to acknowledge Metroid and Samus at all. I cry every time. It's really odd. It, it, it's just because... I think people have talked about this before, but it's just not very popular in, like, the West, right? Like, Metroid's more popular in, like, the United States and, like, Europe as yeah. opposed to, like, Japan. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's really strange. Cause you would think, like, Metroidvanias would be popular out in Japan, but, yeah, they're just, just not. Like, and I think it, it even applies to things like, like, uh, oops, like Metroid Prime, for example. Like, at least, I think, like, at least the original Metroid and, like, Super Metroid were okay, but, like, Prime, I think, just was not very popular in uh, Japan. I wonder I mean, if that's just because it was, like, a first-person style. Maybe. Because I feel like most first-person shooters don't do that well in, like, Japan or, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really couldn't tell you why it doesn't, doesn't do as popular in Japan. All right. Let's see. Yeah, this is, like, this little, uh, like, sand. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, this is also in the, orig in the original Metroid 2. The, uh, the wave beam makes it, like, you know, pretty easy to, like, shoot through this stuff. Oh, I hate these little guys. These little, like, Kermit Crab guys. They're, like, almost impossible to kill. Oh, they're like, the, they're like those enemies from Mega Man. I forget what they're called, but they got, like, the little construction hats, and they'll, like, oh, pop yeah. up and shoot, and then you gotta, yeah, you gotta time it right. Yeah, this is actually a really uh, neat little area. It's like an ah, it's one little flying guy. Hey, there we go. I never really put the two together, but I guess you could compare, like, and say Metroid was almost like Nintendo's version of making a Mega Man-style game. I mean, it's kind of got the same concept besides, like, the pick your boss and, like, the mechanic where it's like, oh, this boss is weak to Cut Man's power or this boss is weak to Guts Man's power. I mean, Metroid came out first, so I guess you can think, like... I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, I think Metroid it came out first and... I think it was 86. I want to say Mega Man was like 87, maybe? I forget. Anyway. Well, we can't get up this wall. I think is, uh, if, we, if you do try to get up that wall, there's some spikes here. So, you can always just bomb jump under, I guess. If we want to just be a thing, we'll just cheese it. Come on, let's go. Let's go, buddy. That's how you scale walls. There we go. You, you nailed it, Mike. It was, yeah, 86 for Metroid and then 87 for Mega Man. So it quite possibly could have been the other way around. Like, maybe someone at Capcom was like, oh, I like that idea of having, like, an arm cannon. And they made their little Mega Man guy. I can't get up there. Oh, well. Okay. I love Mega Man. It is a fun game. I, it, it's weird, though, because, like, I love Mega Man. But if I'm going to be honest, I honestly haven't really played a lot of Mega Man games. Like, the only ones I really ever played were a few of the Battle Network ones, which are completely different yeah. styles of yeah, games to begin with. And I get a space jump. You can now jump that's, forever. That's super good. Yeah. I I always did really want to go back to play through all the original like Mega Man's. Not any of the X games. Not that I think they're bad, but just the like original NES ones. And they put out those like collections on the Switch and stuff like that. They're always around. Oh also, this boss is super cool. Yeah. A Teresa. Oh boy. Many Metro fans would know these are this guy. These are found in Super Metroid, but this thing's like a like a Terminator. It's like a robot. Yeah. That like broke out of the uh, broke out of the statue. Oh boy. And I love how like when he steps, like the screen shakes a little yeah, bit. It's a good touch. Very powerful. Dude, it's barfing on you. Yeah. He's just trying to like he needs your help. He's like, oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Ginger Ale Samus. Ugh. Any Pepto Bismo? Now, okay, that's just an attack. Okay, now he's hostile. There's nothing like trying to help you about shooting giant like wave beams at you. Ah. He is really like a Terminator. That yeah. that's really cool. I'm digging it. Oh, well, he is a bird. I guess he can fly. Hey, nerd, we're the other way. Why don't you use those eyes on your head and look? 
This boss, as most Dark Souls bosses, just just hug that booty. There we go. Stay behind. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wow. Wow. That was a very you. You haven't even seen my final yeah. form. <laughs> now he just turned to Buzz Lightyear. Ah. I love this. I love how they actually did this little like phase two. Ah. I was gonna say this is like actually a little bit tougher because he's like way bigger. I yeah. feel like way more of a problem now because oh, yeah. he can move around so much, especially when he's got like that looking at the screen sprite where he's like taking up like 50% yeah. of your vision. Yeah. It's like, oh god, that's oh wow, he's menacing. Yeah. I couldn't imagine being Samus just jumping around infinitely it's, like it, that. You would think she'd get super dizzy. Yeah, probably a little nauseous. <laughs> Uh, oh, not the little the poop pet, bird. The they literally look like turds. Yeah. Come on now. We just saw this in uh, in No More Heroes. The little the, the, the doves that attack you. <laughs> it is a lot like that. I thought you were gonna say that that guy's dropping a hot save, but no, his he, saves attack you. Yeah, he could. Yeah, it's true. Ah. It's such a weird concept to me, just having like. Of being like okay, your whole purpose of being born is to basically kamikaze. <laughs> Poor things. Oh, I got him. There we go. The purpose. Thank you. Does he give you the thumbs up? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> and there's no there's no vat of lava for him to go into. This was really interesting. Still game. haven't seen that movie. Really? It is kind of interesting. I really am. It's kind of shocking that they actually put this like so early in the next area. Like you already fought the boss. So yeah, spoiler warning. That actually is the boss of the area, but it's, like it's the first thing you fight, which is pretty interesting. Now you can just explore, yeah. have a good time, Ooh. fight some hermit crabs. Yeah. Let's see. I uh, want one of those things in a little cage. They're great. Yeah. Dude, the industrial complex. Yep. Yeah, S R three eight eight. Oh, this, they actually basically turned it, this is now a, uh, again, in the, in the original game, this was an, another golden temple, but in here, it is a robot factory. Let's see. Ooh, nice E-tank. There we go. There we go. Woohoo! Upgrades. Upgrades, how do they work? Well, before we go into the uh Sandy Abyss. Yeah, Sandy Abyss. Yeah. Over here. I'm trying to think where the sand would go after you shoot it. I guess it just like evaporates. Yeah, it just it's just, it's like, you know, it's like any uh, any like block in Metro Game just just gets destroyed, you know. Um, Oh, these guys are back from uh, the hydro, hydro place. Yeah. Yeah. The, those enemies look really annoying. Yeah. Just like the way they like slide themselves like in their yeah. diet. Oh God, they're getting big. Yeah, they are. And, yeah. But I really don't like that evolved Metroid. It's, it's getting too bug like. Yeah, the legs like, are really creepy. Yeah, this stupid like Zerg Overlord. Like, like, it really does. I feel like we made that comparison we before. We did, yeah. Uh, it does get kind of tough because in their weak spot is like now smaller, so it's really tough trying to, you know. I mean, it's a nice little challenge, but like, ah, come on. Oh, yeah, if they can grab you and shock you. <laughs> ah. Hey, you know, much like Metroid, StarCraft, another great IP that is just being squandered. Yeah. No new content coming out for it. Really and, uh, sad. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would have, like, a StarCraft 3. Not, not even, like, StarCraft 3, but maybe just more, more... I don't even know how they don't have a StarCraft 3 by now. Like, I I think that's the move. Like, make it look better. Maybe you have, like, a new gameplay mechanic or something like that. Add a fourth class instead of just the three. Yeah. That's what I, I would do, at least. I remember how pumped I was for StarCraft 2 coming out. Like, because it was just... Because it was so long since Brood War when number, when number two came out. Right. And then now it's we're probably at the same amount of time since since number two came out. <laughs> With nothing. And it and it's weird because I 
I didn't really play StarCraft Brood War at the time, but I remember when they announced StarCraft 2 and how hyped everyone got. They had, like, the Space Marine going, like, it's about damn time or oh, whatever. Yeah, that was and, like, it was, it's a really cool, like, cinematic scene because Blizzard kill it with those, like, movie things they make. Oh, yeah. Their cinematics uh, aren't very good. Yeah. And, it, yeah, it was just, like, so unfortunate that now it's just, like, all gone. I mean, like, really, RTS as a genre is pretty much dead. It's all about those MOBAs. I mean, there's, like, League of Legends, I guess, which is kind of like an RTS. That's a MOBA, yeah. Oh, that's that's kind of what... That's what it evolved into, which is funny because... Uh, what's it called? Warcraft 3, they introduced uh, the hero units, which is kind of what League of Legends and MOBAs copied, like, controlling a character with special moves and stuff like that. Whereas RTS is more like you have a bunch of different units that can kind of just are disposable. Gotcha. I guess you could even compare that to like the auto chess genre now where that's kind of like the same thing. Like you get auto chess is almost like a card game mixed with like an RTS because like your units are more randomized or you have to like pick how to build in a certain units. I don't know if there's necessarily any uh what's the what was the name of it like the actions per minute like clicking around like moving your characters i don't know if you necessarily have to do that in an auto chess wow there's a lot going on the screen right now you're playing a shmup yeah not right it, you, you would think so these little like robot guys ah. those little flippy flop guys look really annoying too yeah especially because even though i have the wave beam it's, it's like it's kind of tough to hit them so far. i know i mentioned this in the last time we recorded this game but i still love how every time you like destroy stuff all the little bits fly everywhere it is this a, nice a great engine feature. to detail yeah i got time for that Ooh, that's a crab it is a crab and it has a weapon with it the crab beam so yeah the spacer was oh man the Spazer was also introduced in Metroid 2, and, uh, yeah, it really widens your, uh... Oops. Yeah, sorry, it actually froze for a second. Uh, I was a little scared there, but anyway. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, the Crab Beam is... <laughs> the Crab Beam made the game crash. Yeah, but now we can actually, uh, get a nice little, you know... Nice... nice. It's kind of like in the Contra, this, like the spray weapon or whatever. Because it just covers so much ground. Yeah, it definitely changed it up, and, and like when Metro 2 introduced this, we finally had like a weapon that just like really increased like Samus's like ability to shoot little things, you know. It also oh yeah, firepower. I, so, oh I definitely agree. Like just having a wider cone of like yeah. hitting enemies is always a good upgrade in like any video game. Yeah. Here we go. Woo. Also, shout out to the crab beam being like a really good weapon because I love crabs. Me too. So I'm glad they're getting their their. Or do yeah they taste good and they're powerful ah another one ah uh, they're getting progressively spoopier they are getting spoopier right they got too many they got too many bug parts and they shoot lightning what's worse than an insect how about an insect that shoots lightning oh my god i hate that concept like imagine a fly comes into your house and then it just starts like sh like it lands on you and it gives you a shock oh my god it's like something out of that movie the mist it's like it's just an ordinary bug, but it can kill you with electricity. Ah, come on. I I almost think of it not being like a a shock that would kill you, just like a little like almost like a prank, like one of those classic uh, buzzers. Yeah. So like every time the fly lands on you, it's just like double annoying because yeah. you're already like ah, oh, there's a fly on me, but then you're also like ah, it shocked uh, me too. Yeah, yeah, it didn't hurt me, but it sure bothered me. I guess at that point, if we're getting to flies with shocking power, we're almost pretty much at Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. I'm sure there's... Ooh, look at that. What could that be? Guess we can't break that open yet. Looks like some arrows. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get there. There we go. Where are we now? Oh, man. Those things get destroyed by the crab beam. Yeah. The crab beam is very useful. Thanks to our crustacean overlords for providing yeah. us such powerful weaponry. Uh, yeah, I for one welcome our new crustacean overlords. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm thinking of is Dr. Zoeberg now. <laughs> oh my gosh, another upgrade already. Hey, uh, now you can get through the arrows, yeah. right? This is one of my favorite upgrades of all time. 
introducing the Super Metroid as the speed booster. Start running. And I'm Gotta go right. fast. Gotta go fast. We don't have time to fight anything either. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's the shine spark. So when you guys, uh, basically the speed booster is when you run in a straight line long enough, you basically just build up a lot of momentum and turn into like a bullet train. And then when back. Well, yeah, you guys saw this when we were playing Zero Mission, so it's back. So, if you run enough, you can store the energy and then do a Shine Spark and use that. Ah. Whoa. Yeah, you guys are Those good. are interesting. Yeah. Those almost look like like some sort of like flesh going around like machinery. Ugh, I was like, that was kind of creeping me out. Like that cyborg aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's... Oh, looks like we gotta do a little speed booster here. Ha, <laughs> you can't get us, idiot, but we can shoot you through the walls. Get wrecked, Flippy Flops. Is that they're called the Flippy Flops? Now it is. Yeah. <laughs> I love all this. Oh, no! The spikes! I do love how the conveyor belts were utilized here with the speed booster. I think it's kind of clever. Ah, come on, you little jerk. Stupid Flippy like Flops. <laughs> I feel like we might have talked about this before, but I don't even understand how Samus would get hurt by the spikes if she's wearing, like, armor. Like, if those are just, like, metal pieces of spikes, like, you would think she could just, like, the... Like, it wouldn't even penetrate her suit. Yeah. I mean, again, I think <laughs> it's, it's the same for any, like, video game with, like, where you have, like... Like, like Master Chief. Like, he's wearing his armor. It's like, well, if bullets hurt him in the armor, then, like, how good is that armor anyway, you know? I guess and that's he, a good and point. He, and he has the shield, so it's like, damn. That's fair. If Master Chief and Samus got married and have a kid, would it be Mega Man? You know what, Corey? I, that's, that's too deep of a question for me to answer. We'll let the, the viewers answer. Exactly. Was that a teaser? Look at that shell of a, a Metroid. I know. Oh, there we go. Looks like a tasty like piece of like fried chicken. Yeah, like one of those like, chocolate ants you can get. Oh, God. Here, little, little jerk. Ah. He's like trying to get you with his little get, little I'm stubby gonna, claws. I'm like, if we get you, I'm gonna get you. There we go. He's trying his darndest. He's trying, but oh, he's got a ram move. Yeah. Too bad this loser doesn't got lightning powers. Yeah, not until he gets the thunderstone, then he'll be able to do it. I guess he evolves. Oh, I trapped him. One second, I froze again. What the heck? Why is it doing that? Yay. Having fun time on the conveyor belt. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm... Okay, I'm going to pause for a second. I don't know why the game keeps freezing. Like, like my, my computer is being all wonky. There's too much epicness from that crab beam. It's, it's true. Right, I think that works. Yeah, sorry for the viewers, but my computer's like, not. F I guess yeah, it's just like freezing, and so I'm pretty sure you can probably see like it being a little bit choppy. I apologize for that. These guys, nope. These impenetrable mollusk-looking things. Yeah. You just saying the word mollusk makes me want like shellfish. <laughs> mollusk. I just re missing how uh, when I went to the Cape May a few months ago I got this huge pot full of these mussels and this delicious like white wine and garlic sauce oh my god dude I could have just drank the liquid that these mussels were cooked in it was so <laughs> delicious that, all that butter yeah and garlic mm. I mean Megan did not have a good time for the next few days because I was a smelly boy <laughs> but my god that was a good meal but my god it was a good kind of smelly <laughs> Everyone loves their own brand. I think these are all uh, speed booster blocks. Yes, they are. There actually is a bit of a ch kind of like a challenging spot right here where you like use speed booster to get a uh, a missile tank. Let's see if we can get it now. 
these guys are, these are very much really annoying. So. They're really throwing a lot of enemies at you now that you have the crab beam. I know. Because they expect well to use the crab beam to take care of them all now. So. Yeah, I'm shocked there aren't like 20 of those like Terminator style uh, Chozo statue guys, you know, fighting. No, they're back! Ah, it's fine. There we go. There, yeah, it, it, in this game, enemies respawn, like, immediately. But, you know, it's whatever. Just gotta run past them. Uh, yeah, that's just how most video games do it. Yeah. This, this cool oh. is just wrecked by the crab <laughs> beam. <laughs> I love oh, how we call it the crab beam. <laughs> They don't stand a chance in that corridor. The crab beam was made for that corridor. Yeah. Oh, look, we made it to the bubbly uh, Mountain Dew live wire. So this is where they mine all that Mountain Dew live wire. This guy is just spinning it up, too. A oh, one little detail I like is that when the robots are in the lava, ah, oh, crap, they actually damage themselves. That is a nice detail. Yeah. Speaking of damage, I'm cooking myself here. I not. I wouldn't picture lava literally being translucent like that, though. Yeah. It, Again, it, it points. <laughs> it's just red water, or you know, it's, it's lot. It's, it's live water. wire. Yeah. <laughs> or code red. Maybe yeah. when you get deep enough, like you have to. There's like a filtration process that Mountain Dew does. Like you know how you get like really nice like whiskey or vodka. Well, that's kind of like how Mountain Dew does it. They have like the live wire and the code red, and it's all through different filter systems. Yeah. Like it's funny how the lava has like bubbles in it. Like I don't think lava bubbles like that. You know. I don't think it does either. Yeah. I think someone even made a good point. Like, in any of these games where, like, I'm moving through, like, lava, it's like, well, lava's, like, moving through rock, so I don't think you can do that. All right, this is going to be kind of annoying. The, the lava's here. I think I might just stay in here and attack them. You got six tanks. You're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. This make me think of that, like, magic armor from Twilight Princess that, like, drains your rupees. Oh, yeah. I remember I always use that, like, right at the end, like, that last boss fight against Ganon, because I'm like, there's no other purpose to use this armor. It drains your rupees way too fast. Yeah, so why don't you just do it at the end of the game where, like, rupees are meaningless at that point? Right. And then in the cutscene, I get Link with the cool, like, magic gold armor on. Yeah, it yeah. is cool looking, too. Ah, come on. Let's get robots. Most of that game, I literally did just travel around in the Zora armor, because I just thought it was a neat you know, thing to differentiate the game. Yeah, me too. There were times where I would just leave the Zora armor on because it was just cool looking. I think, yeah. I don't remember there being any downsides to it. Like, There is one. You take more fire damage. Oh. But it's a water, it's water armor. Shouldn't it be like good against fire and stuff? I swore it. You take more fire yeah. damage. Uh, Maybe I, not. I, 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 I don't think know. you're right. I'm just kind of making fun of the fact. You, I, I agree. With Pokemon logic, you would think that doesn't make sense. Green missile. That's Need the super missile. Super missile. Oh, what's this? Alright, this is actually a really cool little feature. Whoa! You get to control the bot. Yep. And look over here. There's a whole little stash of super missiles. Oh, I love this. You're really living in 2021. You're having the drone deliver your package to you. Only it's a crat, it's a Metroid drone, which I would see, love to see deliver my package. See, now all you have to do is go drop this one of these super missiles off at the machine that Samus is in, and then kill her, and then you can play the rest of the game as this little robot. Yeah, this is now my new uh, my new avatar. <laughs> you made it to the real game. Who oh. cares about? Oh no! Oh, it looks like that missile worked. It still fell here. <laughs> I think. Yeah, but still... you murdered the robot. There's plenty more where that came from. In fact, I think there's actually another uh, spot where I need the missile. So let me. I was uh... gonna say that looks like they just keep respawning. Yeah. Oh, and I do love the music for this area. Metro fans it realize is nice. this is actually the theme from Metro Prime Two: The Temple Grounds. Only it's like more grungy, in my opinion. All right, here we go. Ooh, there we go. Good enough for me. So with the way that robot controls, is it like you hold it down and do like a higher jump and yeah, then you just yeah, tap yeah. it to do like a little jump? Yep, the shoot button lets you grab things and the jump button lets you jump and if you hold it in, you just, yeah, you get like a higher jump. That's how it is. 
That is platformer mechanics 101. Oh, yes. I think a lot of times people have to really actually get that down and get the muscle memory to realize, oh, yeah, if you just lightly tap it, you do a smaller jump. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about games like Super Meat Boy and Celeste. And there's the Super Missile. Yeah. Now we can shoot big missiles. That straight up looks like a warp pipe right there. That blue thing. Let me select it. You're not allowed to use them. Clearly. No, actually, I'm, I'm a little shocked. The controls are not letting me... Uh... Okay, one second. I was going to say, do you got to get to the console commands? Yeah. Set your super missile button? That's weird. I could have... Uh... Wait. Missile select hold. Toggle. Yeah, I have that already. Wait, why can't I... Man, that's weird. Right. I can't actually toggle it. Because usually, you do, if I hold missiles on, then I press select, it toggles it to super missiles, and it's not. That's actually kind of strange. Wait, so if I go here... Sorry, guys, I might, I might just edit this part out. Wait a minute, what the hell? So if I go... There's toggle. Okay, well, you so do I, have it now in yeah, toggle. Kind of, yeah, but I wonder, I wonder why like, if I hold it in, it only went to this. That's strange. So I like the hold feature, so... And I assume that's how it worked when you played this game before. Yeah. That is really odd. Yeah, that's how it is. I wonder it. why it's, like, not working yet. Yeah, that's why it's, like, press, like, over or left. So I'm just pressing, like, every button now. Do I hold it in? Do a barrel roll. Yeah, there we go. That's the answer. All right, looks like I got to resort to these controls, which I'm not a big fan of. It's okay, I just gotta like do it like this, where I just talk with it normally. Ah, lovely. That's strange, I, I could have swore if I pressed the select button, it... Wait, one, one more try, guys, I'm sorry. I could have swore, you do this, hold, joypad settings, here we go, where's the select button? Start menu, accept back, weapon select is button 8. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now it might work. There we go. Now I got it. Okay, so I might. Figure it out, folks. My, Woo! My select button was not selecting correctly. The select button, the share button, the options button. Who knows what button we're pressing yeah. nowadays? There's too many buttons, damn it. Go back to Atari, where you just had a stick and a button. Go back to the. That's what the Intellivision was just a TV remote. <laughs> That's what Game Bro Corey says. Oh, yeah. Well, the, what about the ones that are like a phone where it's like one, two, three? Yeah, I think, I think that's what the Intellivision was. It was like a... Yeah, you're right. It was more like a keypad. Right. Starting to, I don't think I missed anything in here. Let's see. Well, we'll be doing cleanup later, but I think I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get everything in here. Here we go. Use that crap beam to your advantage. Oh, yes. Wipe them all out. I just imagine every time she, like, Samus shoots it, she's like, oh, Old Bay. Yeah, like, there's it just, just a like scent of it. <laughs> it just smells like Old Bay fries or something. Like, mmm, I like this.